The copperhead is one of the most feared and misunderstood animals in the eastern U.S. And the misidentification of non-venomous species as copperheads results in thousands, if not millions, of harmless snakes being killed each and every year. Today, we're going to meet a baby southern copperhead to learn about its incredible adaptations and a few useful identification tips. All right, everyone, check out this beautiful little snake. Now this is a baby copperhead, something I've wanted to see for so long. Um, it is pretty rare to see them in the wild. This is definitely the best time of year to see them here in the fall because this guy was probably just born um, not too long ago. Copperheads are live bearers like other pit vipers. Um, they do produce live offspring, they don't have eggs. And so this little guy was probably birthed just this year. And you can see he's incredibly small, maybe like five inches long. Now lots of people have problems identifying baby copperheads. I mean, people have problems identifying adult copperheads too. But babies, for some reason, there's so many small snakes in North Carolina, some of which are brown in coloration or have patterning, like DK's brown snakes, for instance. But there is, these are even easier to identify, I would say, than adults. Um, the very first thing to look for, like for all copperheads, is gonna be that Hershey Kiss patterning. But babies have an even easier characteristic to look for, and that is a caudal lure. So you can see the end of his tail there is lime green. It's like, I mean, it really does look like a fishing lure. And that is its exact purpose. That caudal lure is used by these baby copperheads to draw in prey, mostly invertebrates, but also things like lizards these guys will take. What they'll do is sit just stock still, curled up, and they'll wiggle that caudal lure back and forth. And hopefully, you know, a curious insect or maybe a little lizard or something will come in and try and eat that. And then this guy can tag it and consume it. Now that's probably, I mean, as a baby copperhead, these guys have lots of natural predators. Their camouflage is their main defense. They do obviously have venom, but in order for this guy to survive, he'll really need to find a location where he can um, stay out of sight of predators and still lure in potential prey items like lizards or invertebrates. It is so cool to see a baby copperhead like this. Now, this one was actually found in someone's yard. And so what we're doing today is just taking him to a safe location to release. Um, so this individual did not come from this specific location, but this is an area that's not frequented by humans. Um, and we know that there's a healthy population of copperheads here already. So hopefully um, he should be able to survive and do really well. But if you are ever, if you ever see a snake in your yard and you question if it's a baby copperhead or not, two things to look for. One, the Hershey Kisses, just like adults. And two, that crazy neon green caudal lure. Really, really hard to mistake for anything else. And they're also adorable. I mean, just look at him. He is totally cute. As you can see, copperheads are not evil and are not out to get you. They are charismatic, unique reptiles that are just as ecologically important as any other secondary consumer and do so much more good than harm. Without snakes like copperheads, disease-bearing insects and rodents would proliferate and have the chance to infect humans with afflictions such as Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Lyme Disease, or even Bubonic Plague. Would you really rather kill that copperhead than keep yourself and your pets or children safe from tick-borne illnesses? Alright everyone, that's just about it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learn something new about the Southern Copperhead. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel for new educational wildlife content coming on Saturday mornings as often as possible. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to check out my Twitter and Instagram pages at The Wild Report for photos and video clips from my adventures. Thanks so much for watching and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.